Good morning, folks. We've got news from the lithosphere up and out into deep space. Got severe weather coming to multiple locations today, and we've also got a look at space weather. Let's start there and check out the last 24 hours on our stars. We find a calm, Earth-facing disk with nothing to focus on but the large, dark coronal hole. The lack of bright regions means there are no sunspots, it is a blank day once again, and so solar flaring is exceptionally low, flatlined actually, and there were no further eruptive behaviors on the disk yesterday. Solar wind is calming right back down with the solar flaring, and geomagnetism is quiet too. We do expect a solar wind intensification tomorrow night from this coronal hole. It has also been interacting with the Earth in terms of interplanetary magnetic fields and kinetic alpha waves and has set our earthquake watch. Luckily, an aftershock 6.3 in Papua New Guinea was how we followed up yesterday's rare quake off the California coastline. The uptick is in progress. Let's look at the U.S. climate report for March. Minimum temps, maximum temps, and precipitation. Sort of a middle-of-the-road month to look at in terms of above and below average temperatures. A personal lament at the dry start to the year for us here in New Mexico and into parts of the breadbasket. We're kicking next to the small Magellanic Cloud where the European Southern Observatory has taken the point location to vast distances. Although, as they were kind enough to mention, when you are looking for point sources, it is nice when the universe literally draws a circle around them for you. Here we are seeing a dead star and its encircling light. This truly shows the zoom power of Muse, and the surroundings are gorgeously lit up in this multispectral image. Let's go a bit further into the cosmos now to reveal the Abel cluster misbehaving. First it looked like its dark mass halo was offset, now it doesn't look that way so much, and scientists are saying they are still in the dark about what this mysterious particle might look like. Lastly, folks, we had another universe episode last night along those same lines. This one details some difficulties in making the current paradigm of cosmology fit the early universe. All five episodes in the series are in the cosmology playlist. Just click our name and scroll to the bottom of our channel page. You'll find a number of helpful playlists. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.